Unfortunately, when a BMW ABS uh, stops working, um, the cost to re repair the pump is approximately $4,000. So this bike, this 2003 uh, BMW K1200, uh, the book value on it is only like $2,000, so it doesn't really make sense to put four grand in it. So I really appreciate, uh, Tom, do you have any comments about um, doing the job? Yeah, so it's basically removing the whole servo motor assembly, but you separating the, uh, the ABS module itself. Um, you leave the ABS module in the bike, so that's what activates your brake lights. Um, it sends a signal to your speedometer, so the speedometer still works, because that was a common problem when people would remove them, the speedo would stop working, and then people would panic. You know? <laughs> um, so remove that, uh, remove this, the hydraulic portion of it, all the ABS lines, um, bypassed um, using the banjo fitting, and just kind of relocated the lines a little bit so there's no pinching or anything like that, rubbing. Or, um, but that's basically it. Um, rewiring the tail light um, and the uh, disabling the relay to the ABS warning indicators because no ABS, you don't really need the indicators anyway. So, um, if you want to take a walk over here, here's the old stuff over here for it. So, the removal of, here's your hydraulic module, your servo motors, the solenoids, and all the lines that need to be removed. Um, but now it's nice and clean, and uh, it's a, you have 100% of the brakes 100% of the time. All right, Tom, thanks. You're welcome, anytime. All right, so I just wanted to give uh, the Cafe Racer Shop here in Ypsilanti, Michigan, a shout out and a plug and props for helping me keep my 2003 K1200 going. It's got a lot lot more life in it, and I plan on doing a lot more riding. Um, I'll uh, now switch over to their little museum. Hi everyone, I'm with Melissa here. She's the manager at the Cafe Racer Shop here in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Um, she has quite a nice museum of vintage motorcycles to show us. And I also wanted to talk about the 59 Club in London, and that's where the theme of this shop came from. Back in the um, 60s, the Triumphs, the Nortons, and the BSAs were running the, the streets of London, and then that began the, um, the, the 59 Club, and to this day that uh, you can still uh, join that club. So Melissa's going to tell us a little bit about uh, the vintage motorcycles that are over here on my left. Sure. So, um, you come into the shop at any point, we have a pretty wide variety of motorcycles for people to view and to experience and look at. We ask that you look, but don't touch. Um, so right now we've got some vintage Harleys, we've got some vintage Triumphs, uh, vintage Suzuki's. We do work on modern and vintage bikes. We'll pretty much take on any project, um, but if you want to come by our shop, we typically have a good rotation of different things to look at, and it's usually may have a bike that somebody's looking to get rid of. All right, thanks, Melissa. You're welcome. Well, that's it for today, and I really appreciate you guys checking out my video, and I uh, hope this helps people that have ABS problems with their BMW, and I will be um, sharing the website for Cafe Racer down below and uh, the two videos about eliminating um, your ABS on your BMW. Bye for now.